Meanwhile, Governor Agbu Kefas of Taraba State has expressed the readiness of his administration to support and partner with the Legion and families of fallen soldiers to enable them to live meaningfully. He discussed the Eastern Monday at the Jolly Nyame Stadium in Jalingo while speaking at the 2024 Armed Forces Celebration and Remembrance Day. He said the history of the state is interwoven with the bravery of the armed forces as they have stood tall in the face of adversity, defending the borders and ensuring the safety of the communities in the state. So well, it's a very important ceremony to the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, which the president is the commander in chief. So by implication, it is a very important national celebration and remembrance uh, day. Um, unless it uh, has a policy of moving forward and make sure that the Nigerian region enjoy the benefit of their service to the nation and also specifically the widows the wives of our departed ones, and even those ones that are unable to do things to, to survive, we we'll make sure we we'll give them all the support they need so that they will forget the pains and the wounds that um, the death of their husbands, their loved ones have caused them. Listen, sir. Legion ex servicemen and women retiring. Taraba said have large number of ex-servicemen and women retiring, which some of them become Babao, Sofo soldier. But some are very healthy, physically fit to do other jobs in state capital and local government area council, especially on security matter. Taraba State Legion Office is a standard concrete building, but due to perforated and the leaking zinc, damaged the ceiling all. The office needs renovation and electrical machine to work in. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.